Well, no Republican has served as Speaker of the House longer than Dennis Hastert. During the Clinton and George W. Bush years, he was second in line to the presidency. And today, Dean Reynolds was in the courtroom as Hastert admitted for the first time to being a serial child molester. Withered and wheelchair bound, former Speaker of the House Dennis Hastert came to federal court for a public shaming he brought on himself. In the courtroom, Hastert finally admitted he had molested boys on the Yorkville High School wrestling team he coached decades ago. What I did was wrong, he said, and I regret it. Judge Thomas Durkin suggested that was not enough. Nothing is more stunning than having serial child molester and Speaker of the House in the same sentence, the judge said. Zachary Farden is the U.S. attorney. Mr. Hastert's legend and legacy are gone. And in its place are a broken, humiliated man. That is as it should be. Six months ago, Hastert pleaded guilty to violating banking laws by repeatedly making large cash withdrawals. His undoing began in 2014 when he told the FBI he was keeping the money, though it was actually going to one of his victims, known as Individual A, as a kind of compensation for his misdeeds. Hastert lied again when he said Individual A was blackmailing him, a claim the judge called an unconscionable attempt to victimize a victim one more time. Individual A was 14 when the abuse started, and Hastert was forced to face his accusers this time. Another victim, Scott Cross, who is now 53, tearfully recalled a lifelong trauma from being abused by his coach at the age of 17. It was my darkest secret, he said. I was devastated. Jolene Burge testified on behalf of her brother Stephen Reinbolt, who died of AIDS in 1995, after telling her Hastert had abused him throughout high school. You were supposed to keep him safe, she said, not violate him. Pamela Younger of Yorkville voted for Hastert many times. You can't even begin to talk about what a betrayal that is of everything he claimed to be versus everything that he turned out to be. In sentencing the 74-year-old Haster to 15 months in prison, Scott, Judge Durkin exceeded the recommendations of the prosecutors. And while the statute of limitations on Haster's now admitted sexual misconduct ran out a long time ago, the judge said there are some things that are unforgivable, no matter how old they are. Dean Reynolds reporting for us. Dean, thank you.